Hi, Deb. <clears throat> I was on my morning bike ride and I felt convicted that I should <clears throat> tell you the story of the Family Freedom Party handbook. You have a dad who was a detailed man and a model builder who was really focused on exacting details. And I really grew up the same way. And most people don't even think about or consider the amount that I, of time that I spent observing the model of the church. You know, when you're building a model of an airplane or a boat, you go and look at the actual thing and you look at all the parts and you see how they fit together. Well, besides what happened in my youth, I mean, my mom took us to different churches because people weren't caring about the black people in Camden and moved over to one church and another church. My dad left Lutheran Church. He didn't believe in politics and dropping bombs in the name of Jesus. And he ended up spending time with the Quakers, but he wasn't happy with them because they started focusing on gay rights more than peaceable family life. So, the Family Freedom Party Handbook, part one. We start with four prayer shawls. Four prayer shawls. The prayer shawl represents the temple and the tabernacle that have passed away. And we have that reminder. And why four? Well, you got Jesus and Peter and James and John. Jesus was a real person. He was a human being. And he had only three disciples that didn't have unbelief that he brought with him to the transfiguration, to Gethsemane, and to the raising of Jairus' daughter, Peter, James, and John. So the four prayer shawls represent Peter, Jesus, James, and John. Four men, hopefully, we can get four men together in communion and in honesty. And the women and the children that we are connected with will also be a blessing because of those men. That's the beginning. In Acts chapter 14, verse 21 to 23, you see the picture of a church. A church is in a home. A church is a group of families. A church is an atmosphere where one person is selected by the Holy Spirit to be an elder, connected with the standard problems, caring about the people.